Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on this kind of garbage content in future. If this is not your first time on the channel, well, maybe you have some issues up here that you may want to get seen to because, again, we produce absolute fucking garbage on here and you probably shouldn't be coming back for more. But the fact that you made it this far into the video means that you're a bit of a glutton for punishment, so you kind of deserve exactly what you get. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Evil Twin archetype, recently released in Genesis Impact, uh, which they really should have called GIMP, in my opinion, but there you go. It's an archetype that's seen a little bit of hype surrounding what the potential of the deck is, being able to special summon each other from the deck, and all that kind of good stuff. Today's video, we intend to show you how to play the deck in some capacity. You're absolutely not going to walk away from this some sort of expert on the subject, but it will give you a good idea of how to play the deck, or at least be better equipped to defeat it. Again, this is still very early days for the deck, so of course there's plenty of work to be done going forward and plenty of ideas to come to the forefront and just see how the deck gets on as a whole. As a quick note before we continue, if you are looking to pick up the singles for the deck, you should definitely go ahead and check out the link in the description to Jam Jam Card UK. They are the channel sponsors, uh, and if you go and find them on social media, they'll probably hit you up with a nice discount if you let them know that I sent you. In either case, check out their eBay store. The link is in the description. You'll get an absolutely fantastic price on any singles that you need. But that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck right in to the video. The Evil Twin archetype debuted into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG as part of Genesis Impact earlier in this month, December 2020, for those of you watching from the future. The archetype is made up of both dark and light, mostly fiend female monsters. And you know what that means, right? Waifu tax. <laughs> There is a big crossover between the Evil Twin and Live Twin archetypes, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll talk about them in tandem as they both share members of the Key, Sakil, and Lil La archetypes. The name seems to be derived from a malicious method of network interception. Warning, I'm about to bring you some IT stuff to the table here, so be prepared to have your mind numbed. But don't worry, you won't need to read. We don't do that kind of thing here. Uh, we, we don't do that here. An evil twin, in short, is when a Wi-Fi access point is set up to look legitimate, but is usually used in order to scale the data that passes over the network, something like trying to steal a password, monitor activity, and that kind of thing. Think a little bit of a internet version of a catfish. Of course, the names evil and live are each other reverse, but they're a play on being two sides of the same coin. With evil cards being the real character and the live cards being the character they pretend to be. Again, see catfish. The deck is still very much new, so it's unknown how strong the deck will be. There was definitely some big initial hype after the announcements, but I'm pretty sure that's on account of the amount of simps in this game, rather than the merit of their genuine potential. Simp. I could of course be completely wrong, but we all know how this kind of thing goes. The deck's playstyle focuses on using the main deck live twin monsters, with Kisa Kill and Lil La special summoning their twin counterpart, with the exception to this being Lil La Treat, who can special from hand if you control a Kisa Kill monster. Yes, these names are doing my fucking head in already. From here, you can make one of the Link to Galdem, who get some spooky effects when the other twin is on the field, being able to draw a card or pop one, and being able to special summon their other twin from the graveyard. You will face some restrictions for summoning these if you do, but that seems to be the flavour of the modern Yu-Gi-Oh card. The deck is also able to push for some big damage too, which is a nice touch. The spell and trap support is there to look to either accommodate this playstyle or to set up disruptions. For the next part of this video, we'll be taking a look at the current cards released across the TCG and OCG, with the initial release having been done in Genesis Impact, and with more support coming in Blazing Vortex. It is worth noting that there may be some translation errors here, as not all of the cards are available in English just yet. It should give you some idea, though, at least of what they do. And as always, I'll be rating the card effects somewhat shortened, but cards will be shown on the screen for your perusal. But given you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, we both know that you won't be reading a fucking thing. So we start off with Live Twin, Key Sakil. Each time an opponent's monster declares an attack, you gain 500 life points. If it's summoned and you control no other monsters, you can special summon a Lil La monster from your hand or deck. This effect is a hard ones per turn. Live Twin, Lil La. Your opponent must pay 500 life points to declare an attack. If it's summoned and you control no other monsters, you can special summon a Kisa Kill monster from your hand or deck. This effect is a hard ones per turn. Live Twin, Lil La Treat. 
If you control a key secure monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. This effect is a hard once per turn. When a player takes battle damage involving an evil twin, you can banish this from your graveyard to target an opponent's monster. It loses attack equal to the battle damage taken. This effect is a hard once per turn. Evil Twins, Kisa Kill and Lil La. Can't be normal summoned or set, and must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by tributing two Link Monsters. If it's special summoned and your opponent controls three or more cards, they must send cards they control to the graveyard until they control only two. This effect is a hard ones per turn. And while you have a Kisa Kill and Lil La monster in your graveyard, it gains 2200 attack and defense. Evil Twin, Kisa Kill. Requires two monsters, including a Kisa Kill monster. If it's special summon and you control a Lil La monster, you can draw a card. During your main phase, if you don't control a Lil La monster, quick effect, you can special summon a Lil La monster from your graveyard, but you're locked out of the extra deck except for fiends. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Evil Twin, Lil La. Two monsters, including a Lil La monster. If it's special summon and you control a Kisa Kill monster, you can pop a card on the field. During the main phase, if you don't control a Kisa Kill monster, quick effect, you can special summon a Kisa Kill monster from your graveyard, but you're then locked out of your extra deck except for fiends. Each effect is a hard one per turn. That concludes our list of monsters. I won't spend too much time discussing ratios as it's so early into their release, but keep an eye out for lists from online events, such as remote duels, to see exactly what people are experimenting with. Next up, we're taking a look at the spell and trap support. We start off with Live Twin Channel. When a monster declares an attack, you can tribute a Kisa Kill or Lil La monster to negate the attack. During the end phase, you can target a Kisa Kill or Lil La in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, but if you don't control any monsters, you can add it to your hand instead. Each effect is a hard one per turn. Live Twin Home. Discard a card to special summon a Kisa Kill or Lil La monster from the deck. Also, for the rest of the turn after this resolves, you can't special summon from the extra deck except for Evil Twin monsters. You can only activate one copy of Home per turn. Evil Twin Challenge Special summon a Kisa Kill or Lil La monster from your graveyard, then apply the following effect. Immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon one Evil Twin Link monster using monsters you control as material. You can only activate one copy of Challenge per turn. Evil Twin GGEZ. You can tribute a Kisa Kill or Lil La Monster, then activate one of the following effects. One Kisa Kill or Lil La Monster gains attack equal to the original attack of the tributed monster until the end of this turn. When a card or effect would destroy a card or cards in the field, negate that effect. You can only activate the effects of GGEZ once per turn. Evil Twin Present. If you control a Kisa Kill monster and a Lil La monster, you can activate one of these effects. Swap a Kisa Kill or Lil La monster you control with an opponent's monster. Or you can shuffle a set spell or trap your opponent controls into their deck. You can only activate one copy of Present per turn. That just about rounds off a full list of the current support for the Evil Twin deck. Again, it's still early into its release, so speculating on ratios would be a huge waste of time. For the next part, we're going to briefly discuss some of the non-archetype support you could consider running in the deck. This list won't be exhaustive, but it might give you some ideas of cards you could consider trying out in the deck as a whole. So we start off with Cyber support. In my opinion, this one is fairly self-explanatory. Searching copies of the Live Twins Keys to Kill and Lil La is a great way to set you up. You can also use the likes of Lady Debug or Silent Mining to get cards into the hand. And there's also the likes of Backup Secretary, which can give you some free extenders to easier do some link climbing. World Legacy Support The World Legacy cards offer a solid means of extension and synergy with the deck. Being able to abuse the benefits of using the Link Zones, which this deck revolves around, in order to gain advantage and Link Climb with ease. Cards like World Legacy Succession, Crown, Lance and Lib, the World Key Blade Master, can all be good options to consider. Chaos Shit A Chaos Variant is something with the potential to be highly explosive. With a mixture of both dark and light attribute monsters naturally existing in this deck, you can certainly see the case for giving this some consideration. There are definitely some potential hurdles with many of the deck's benefits from coming from keeping their cards in the graveyard for their punching power, but since when has a little restriction ever stopped us from giving it a go? The list of potential support options in this category seem endless, but cards such as Wyver Burster, Collapse Serpent and Chaos Space spring to mind. Are you worried about being locked out of the extra deck except for fiends? Worry no more. 
Unchained have a variety of good options that give them plenty of disruption and ball breaking effects, without needing to worry about not being able to access them. They can be good in either player's turn and can be a fantastic at generating card advantage over the opponent. We are mostly looking at the extra deck options here, the likes of Rage, Anguish and Abomination, although access to Rage and Anguish you'd need to look for some additional cards to add to the main deck. For the final part of this video we're going to show you some sample deck lists. The idea here is just to get your brain jogging and think a little bit about different approaches you could consider when building the deck. These lists won't be tested, at least not extensively, so don't go about carbon copying these things and then being butt frustrated at the end results. I am a Yugi tuber, not a fantastic deck builder. You have been warned, bucko. Anyway, once this is all over, if you're looking to get some of the singles you need to build your deck, take a look at the link to Jam Jam Cards UK's eBay store in the description for some excellent prices. You can also contact them via social media if there's anything you can't find on their store, and they may even cut you a cheeky discount if you let them know that I sent you.
And that is it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and hopefully you feel a bit better equipped for the deck as a whole. Thank you very much for coming along. The fact that you made it this far means that you probably enjoyed the content or hate it enough that you can't possibly look away. In either case, hopefully you've hit subscribe by now so you're going to see more of this absolute trash in future. Either way, thank you very much for coming along and I will see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.